Hi Bagaholics! It's Bagaholic TV and today we are going to take a look at an Alma BB in ostrich leather. If you are thinking about getting a bag in ostrich leather, let me show you if you should do that or not. I know a lot of people love Alma BB, but uh, sorry, I can't relate to that. This bag is very, very cute. It's a small bag, well, suitable for any occasion. You can take it out on a romantic date or you can uh, bring this bag to work. There's no problem with that. Um, if you don't need to carry something like a laptop or documents. But um, I don't really love the Alma BB opening. And here's why. So. It's also very small and yes, a zippy wallet, for example, can fit into this bag, but uh, it's incredibly uncomfortable putting my hand, uh, the zipper is like scratching the skin and this, the feeling overall is really, really uncomfortable. Although I love the shape and uh, I do think this bag is beautiful, um, I, I'm not a proud owner of an Alma MM and uh, that's not my favorite style from Louis Vuitton. Now, regarding the ostrich leather, uh, I'm actually a fan of exotic materials. I love ostrich, I love python, and I love anything that looks very extraordinary, obviously. <laughs> but um, regarding the ostrich leather, it's um, really sturdy, it's really nice. I had this bag for about a year, and uh, although I, was not, I didn't carry it a lot, but um, I, I feel that this type of leather is really firm. It keeps the shape, it, uh, it cannot be easily scratched or have some defects on the leather. Um, <clears throat> apart from this uh, little cute parts that can fall apart, nothing will ever happen to this bag. So you can take a look at the uh, corners and they are perfect. Perfect after one year, two years, three years of use, because I also have other bags in Austria and it looks exactly the same. Well, probably the handles darken a little bit, but uh, it's not much. So it's a great investment, but of course we should consider the price. This exact bag is over $7,000. So the question is, is it worth it? I don't really know the answer. If you have $7,000 and if you want a bag, there is no problem with that. But uh, if you're considering other options and you are sort of making the choice on whether um, to get a very good, um, whether to get a Chanel um, or even a Birkin, maybe a pre-loved Birkin, uh, but you are so unsure which bag do you, you want to get, um, probably that's one of the options, but you won't buy Louis Vuitton. You will buy Chanel or Hermes or any other, well, not many other brands are higher than Louis Vuitton, but still you will prefer a brand which is more high-end. I would do the same. Now, speaking about this bag, there's only one occasion in which I would recommend getting an ostrich bag. Well, of course, if you love the ostrich, and if you want a bag in ostrich, and if you want it to be Louis Vuitton, buy pre-loved. Because all the exotic bags you can get them at a fraction of the initial cost. Like this one is about $3,000 pre-loved and you can buy it even cheaper if you look for some uh, special offers, uh, discounts, sales. You will get it at $2,000 and, and maybe $500. So if you do want an ostrich bag, look for pre-loved luxury websites. We do have a lot of ostrich bag on the um, lvbagaholic.com website, so check it out if you love 
uh, if you are an exotic lover like I am. And uh, check out also our other bags because we have a good choice of uh, limited editions and very, very special bags. Well, thank you for watching the review. I hope it was useful for those who are considering a bag in Austria. And see you next week. Bye.